Hey, hey, good afternoon, morning, or evening. This is Bob coming to you from the Casa del Green, a little different view today. And I wanted to read to you from Matthew 20 and verse 28. That's Matthew 20, verse 28. <coughs> it's uh, Wednesday, May the 5th, 2016. And today's word is see. C, not S-E-A, C, what do you see? And of course, I'm, I'm in a different place today. I'm doing the, uh, the Devo in a different way. Uh, I try to always mix it up there a little bit. And uh, there we go. Let's go ahead and read then. Would you remember the verse? I, I have no idea. It's Matthew 20, 28. It says, just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, he didn't come to be served, didn't come to get his rights. He didn't come because uh, you know he wanted to see things his way, but to serve. The Son of Man, Jesus Christ, came to serve, not to be served. And to give his life as a ransom for many. This Bible, uh, I've had this Bible for 40 years. It's the old, good old New American Standard. And I had it when I was a, as a boy uh, in uh, high school. And I, I've done a lot of, a lot of deep study in here over the years. And uh, it's just crazy, all the, all the colors. And it's amazing. Yeah. And, and it's funny because now when I hear uh, when I hear someone uh, giving the word, I uh, I can always just boom. I know what they're going to say because I have the word implanted in my in my spirit, in my soul, and it's it's been there for you know all my life. Well, what was the idea today with the word see? How do you see things? I just I just uh, took care of a, a business deal here at the Casa Del Green. And uh, the Lord told me this morning before I met with a person to have a glass of water on the table. So I put a glass of water on the table. I said, what do you see there? And, and the, the young person that, uh, yeah, <laughs> they were 51. But the young person, they said, ah, a glass of water, uh, water. And uh, the little hummingbird out there enjoying the jasmine. How cool is that? Wow, you should see this. Amazing. So they said, it's a glass of water. And, it, and it's half full. I thought, high five. You pass. Yes, that's right. How do we see things? Some people see things in such a way that they say, well, the glass is half empty. Or, where's the ice? There's no ice in that glass. Or, how come that... People can be so critical. People can be so much into what, what they want and the way they want it that you end up just shaking your head. Just the criticism, the negativity, and the doubt. It's very, very sad. Well, today, let's see clearly. Today, let's humble ourselves. We don't, we don't have it all together. Yeah, maybe we have a Bluetooth. Maybe we got the latest telephone. Uh, I know I do. <laughs> I love my phone. It's so cool. I get so much. It's such an amazing thing because if you're like me when I was a kid, uh, except, except when I'm trying to put this Bluetooth in here, uh, the rocky ship. My dad, when I was a kid, he was going to shoot a video. At, uh, it was a film back then. Uh, you know, And he had like a bar of lights. It was like, I told this story before. He had like like 1,000, 2,000 watts of lights. You know, and it's brighter than the sun. <laughs> Open your eyes. I still, I still can't get my dad to, to show me those movies. They lost somewhere. My dad is kind of a, 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 a nice guy, but he's a hoarder. And he, he's just, he can't find them. So someday, when on my deathbed, look them, I'll get to see them. And I wanted to show my son, you know, when my son was young. So it's going to be fun to see those someday. But today's technology is so cool. <clears throat> Well, we're on technology. Now, this is the tech show with Bob. No. <laughs> it's how we see things. How do we see things? What do we see? And how do we feel in Jesus Christ? The Lord is our God. The Holy Spirit is our breath. Our commandment from the Lord is to love our neighbors as ourselves, to love the Lord our God with all of our heart, our soul, our mind, and our strength, to give ourselves unto him and him alone. Some people are just, I don't know, I think they just grew up with like a negative gene or something. Everything, uh, you know, have a nice day. Uh, they're, just kind of, they're just kind of dour and dumpy and, you know, but the Lord says that the joy of the Lord is our strength. So if we can get that joy, if we can just take a breath 
If we can just step back from being so serious, we're all so dang serious, you know? Oh my God, that's just, we gotta really, yeah. You know, it's nice to be serious. It's really cool to be, to feel, take things, take things in a way that, that makes sense. But there's a, there's a line, there's a limit where our feet will fail. These, these feet of mine, they're gonna fail me. My legs will fail me. My big old strong arms will fail me. My eyes will fail me. My mind will fail me. We can, we can think that we have it all down pat. We can think that, yeah, I got this down. I, I know how I'm doing here. All have fallen short, all are sinners. Yes, we need to be wise. Yes, we need to do our best. But the reality is, friends, is that <clears throat> we're all failures. And when we realize we're failures, when we lift our hands, we say, Father God, and we call upon the Holy Spirit, and he comes into our hearts, and we finally see clearly, we say, you know what? It's only what, what the Lord allows through my life that I'm able to move and breathe and have my being. When you have that humility in your spirit, <clears throat> And you have the inclusion. Uh, I didn't dream when I got up this morning that, that the job I had today would just go like, that, I'm done. I've already taken care of it. I did every, all the business paperwork. I did it in a good spirit. And the, my biggest job for the week is all done. I'm, I'm, I'm sitting back here just, wow. Isn't this a nice place? Nice new couch. Amazing. My neighbors gave me these. I have two of them. They're exactly the same. <laughs> God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. Let's pray. Father God, I pray right now for my brothers and sisters. I pray, Father, that you would allow each of us to breathe in your Holy Spirit, to be of service, to be humble, and to include whoever we can in our circle of fellowship. Let's all pray, uh, shall we, for our leadership, for our governing boards, for the, for the church boards, for the pastors, for the men's pastors, the women's pastors, for the leaders, for the volunteers. Let's pray for our, our, let's pray for our leadership. And let's ask that they would be filled with the Holy Spirit and they too would understand and know that it's only Jesus. It's only Jesus. And as we look to Jesus, as we study his word, and as we surrender ourselves unto him, he will work all things for good because we love him and we're called according to his purpose. Amen, amen, amen. If you need anything, let me know. Of course, you're watching this, so you know that we're on the YouTube, Pasadena Bob's Devotionals. If you want to pass the word around and share this word with anybody, feel free. If you need to reach me, uh, you can go on the Twitter at, uh, at BobBob8954, and I'll catch you there. Have a great day. God bless.